weather and the water turning destructive out there, flooding roads, parking lots, even stores. And we only have a short break before it could all start again. News 5 Sarah Finney is live in Brooklyn for us this morning. They're still cleaning up a lot out there. Sarah, good morning. Hey, Terrence, they are cleaning up quite a bit, and we just learned that Sam's Club is closed here in Brooklyn until further notice. Just talked with some employees inside. It is quite a mess, and those employees have been working around the clock to try and clean it up. And, you know, there's about a half inch of mud or so on the ground in the parking lot. We also have some cars uh, that were stuck here from that rain yesterday. Some have X's on them. Hopefully these people have car insurance because it is not a good situation from them. A couple have their hoods up, uh, trunks open open just trying to get it uh, all aired out. Now I want to show you some cell phone video from last night because it was quite a scene here at this Sam's Club. People walking in their bare feet through several inches of water. Others waiting to get their car waiting to get to their cars. The Sam's Club parking lot looking more like a lake or pond and our cameras were rolling as families had to be rescued by crews in boats after driving through water on Brook Park Road. Uh, several roads closed throughout the area, like in Hudson and Streetsboro, stopping people from driving through the water there. And wind also causing some damage. Our overnight news tracker finding poles down in Avon. I just checked the first energy outage map. Less than 200 customers without power this morning. So that is some good news. But as JD has been saying, we got to be on alert for the next round of weather. As for here at the Sam's Club, the cleanup is still underway. Live in Brooklyn, Sarah Finney, News 5.